Police are bracing for revenge attacks after a notorious Melbourne crime figure was gunned down on a suburban street. The 44-year-old father of five died when he was ambushed outside a home. Nabil Magni lived a life of violence and died a victim of it too. Hey, that's Nabil, Nabil. That's Nabil's dead. What the f He's dead. Nabil's dead. He's not moving. The 44-year-old underworld figure shot dead in daylight after an argument outside a home on Dalton Road. He shot two blokes. One bloke was moving on the ground, one wasn't. Then he come across the road, the nature strip. He was firing at another two younger blokes. This man witnessed the gunman open fire, then flee. As the guns ran out of bullets, he just casually turned around, looked at us and kept walking. In total, three men were shot. Nabil Magni died instantly. His friend Sam Shelby beside him survived. His son, 27-year-old Abbas Jr, fled to a nearby car park where he and a friend approached the same man asking for help. He refused and AJ was eventually taken to hospital before discharging himself and returning to the scene to comfort his mother. One of them had blood all out of his mouth. Um, yeah, blood all coming down his leg and that. It wasn't the Magni family's first run-in with the law. At the time of his death, Nabil Magni was on bail over a high-speed crash. He was under investigation for the Love Machine nightclub double murder. His son, Jacob Elliott, is facing charges. In November, he was questioned over a drug trafficker's death. In 2016, he was shot in the head through his car windscreen. In 2011, a suspect in the attempted hit on former bikey enforcer Toby Mitchell. The fear now for police is any possible retaliation attack. Nabil Magni had a wide circle of family and supporters. Any one of them could feel compelled to seek revenge. And it could happen in another public place, putting lives of innocent people at risk.